In this video, I'm going to show how to schedule a cron job in Raspberry Pi. So when I say cron job, what it means is, suppose if you have a program which you want to execute at certain time interval, say for example, you want uh, the program to run every day between 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. or you want to run when the Raspberry Pi reboots, right? So you really don't want to log into the Raspberry Pi and manually execute the program. So what you can do is you can schedule it in your Raspberry Pi so that it automatically executes without uh, disturbing your main Raspberry Pi system. So here is what I'm going to do now. So in the previous video, we showed you about how you can schedule the lightning application. So basically, if you go to uh, CD light show Pi, we have a bin folder. And in, in, in this one, if you see this, the start playlist once, and I think it's the start music on lights. This, this was the program which we executed, which will start syncing the Christmas lights to the music. So basically it will sync the eight channel relay to the music. So we want to execute this uh, every time, every day between 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Okay, so how do we do that? So what we need to do is, uh, I always like to be at the Pi folder, so it doesn't matter which folder you are in. So what you need to do is, you need to type in cron tab hyphen E and press enter. So first time when you do this, you will get an option to saying that, hey, select the editor. So I like to use nano. So what I'm going to do is I just select one and type in enter. That's it. So then I'll be taken to this particular editor. So let me see if I can maximize this. Okay, great. So here it's all empty now. So the, nothing is added. So what we need to do here is we need to first specify the folder in which we have our execution file. So for that, what I will do is I will type in at the top here the folder. So basically I am specifying a constant value as synchronized lights home, which refers to home pi on light show pi. And now what I want to do is I want to schedule this every day at 7 p.m. And at 8 p.m. I want the program to stop uh, syncing the lights. So what we need to do is, uh, let me just share a website here and I'll be sharing you the link later on as well. So here is what it means. So if you come to the program here again, you can see it says month, uh, M stands for month, H stands for hours, and DOM means day of the month, a month of the year, And day of the week. So I suppose if you want to schedule this at 7 p.m. what we need to do is just take a look at this website. It gives a good information about how we need to specify. So the first one is a day of the week. Uh, sorry, the first one goes from here. It's basically the minutes. So in our case it's going to be exactly at the 7 p.m. So what we need to do for that is we just have to specify 00, 0 that is going to be just type in 00, zero. and then 7 p.m. is basically in 24 hour format. It needs to be in 24 hour format because we cannot specify a.m. or p.m. in cron job. So it's going to be 19. 19 is the, is the uh, 24 hour format of 7 p.m. Then we don't have anything for day of the month, month of the year or day of the day of the week. So what we'll do is we just put the asterisk symbol there as it is that saying that there's nothing needs to be done and what is the program that we need to execute right so for that we need to specify saying that execute this program at uh, 9 p.m every day and suppose if there is any output of this program right so you want to capture that so what you can do for that is you can type in the symbol and add in this command as this one. So what this basically tells us to this program, execute the program called as uh, start music underscore lights. And if there is any error, then it is telling the command to store it in the file called music underscore and underscore lights dot start final 
and what this means is to append the file so that it doesn't recreate the same file every time there's an error or every time it runs so that's what it says and the uh, ample sign at the end basically tells tells the program that keep running in the background don't stop it so that's what it says otherwise your raspberry pi boots and it still keeps waiting for an input so you don't want that to happen so now now that we have added the command to start we also need to have a command to stop it so how do we do that as i told you before we need to specify the time so the time is going to be uh, okay let me okay time is going to be at 8 pm so it's again 0 0 and 8 pm is basically 2 0 and uh, we don't want to specify the day of the month or the year or the weekly so i'll just put asterisk and what is the program that it needs to run so as we showed in the previous video we need to execute a program called as uh, stop music on lights and again we need to get the output of this in a different file just in case if there is any issues so what we can do is we can write in this command after execution of that uh, program so we can capture the output so this is all we need to do so once this is done all you need to do is uh, Create, uh, just save the file, control X, yes, and good. Now, if you go back, you can see that it will not ask you for the, what do you call uh, the editor again, because initially it asks you and you chose as nano, so it doesn't give you the option again. So it defaults to the nano. And now you can see that everything is saved. So while we are here, I want to give a quick uh, tutorial about the cron job. Suppose if you want to execute few things on a particular interval, like say for example, when it reboots, right? In this case, um, I basically specified on the exact time. So what if you, if you want to run something at, uh, what if you want to run a program when it reboots? So what you can do is you can type in at the reboot sign here. So basically you can come in here and say, oops, sorry, uh, okay. I can come here and say add to reboot and you can specify the path okay so what happens at that time is every time the system reboots it will uh, execute the program okay that's what it needs to be done and uh, I'll just remove that and that's good okay let me just make sure I didn't delete anything okay perfect so similarly if you want to run a program yearly or annually monthly weekly daily you can do this so so you, you might ask like when does this hourly daily would be helpful suppose if you have a program and you want to upload your logs to remote cloud right so you don't want to do it every minute so you just want to upload your logs once in an hour or once in a day so you can use those at the rate symbol uh, followed by daily and you should be able to execute the program okay so this is it so now that we unfortunately i can't show it to you because it's time-based execution so but uh, if you type in this it should uh, work 100 percent i'm very confident so this uh, this this is all we need to do to execute the program uh, in the next video we'll talk more about setting up the lights talk to you later thank you